Way deaths are happening in the middle of what's known as the 100 deadliest days. It's the period between Memorial and Labor Day when deadly crashes, especially involving teenagers, typically spike. In fact, a candlelight vigil was held in Kent tonight for this 12-year-old boy. Gabriel Curry was remembered by his family, his friends, and his teammates. Police say Gabriel was killed by a drunk driver, and investigators say that driver was just 19 years old. Uh, Gabriel was on his scooter when the crash happened, and he almost made it back to his home. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman attended his vigil today where we learned about a new sign that's meant to remind drivers not to drink and drive. Matthew Hanna, that sign is scheduled to go up tomorrow morning, reminding drivers not to drink and drive. And it's something that his mom tells me that she, in fact, asked for, but she had no idea it was coming so soon. In fact, she's hoping that this sign, knowing that a child's life was lost there, will save countless others. Little did she know, as she found out tonight, along with the rest of their family, that there's a whole city rallying behind them. Now batting, number 14, catcher, Gabriel Corey. Excited. <laughs> New. Hey. A painful memory for family, friends, and teammates. 12-year-old Gabriel Corey made a powerful impact in his community. Tonight, we'd like to honor uh, Gabriel Corey. The U.S. and Kent Little League flags at half staff as his team, the Mariners, celebrate a life taken too soon. Police say Gabriel was hit and killed by a 19-year-old alleged drunk driver who veered into oncoming traffic before losing control and hitting him on his scooter. Gabriel was just trying to get home. He's a great, great human being. He did not deserve any of this. Heartbroken, his community gathered, leaning on one another. We really feel it's so important to not only heal for ourselves, but to represent Gabriel and, and wrap our love around this team, this family, and all the community that we have. Gabe's loss, honored on cherished land, the Ryan Bruner Playfield, named after a 12-year-old who died 29 years ago. His brother, King County Deputy Travis Bruner, is taking the quarries under his wing as a community did for him. Uh, when I was 10 years old, a person made this for my brother. I felt it was only just that I do the same for their family, and I made one for each player on the team, as well as two for the family. Gabe was laid to rest Wednesday, but his legacy lives on. I want Gabe's memory to be honored in a way that lets everyone know that this, this loss shouldn't ever happen again. Mayor of Kent to Dana Ralph worked to help get this sign, reminding you not to drink and drive, hoping it will save another life. The team got together and we wanted to do something to honor Gabe as well. And um, um, so we're retiring number 14. Kent Little League taking it a step further, retiring the jerseys Gabe's team wore and hanging a forever playing ball plaque next to the one honoring Ryan. Gabe has made such an impact on both Tim and, Tim and I's lives um, and our families. Um, outstanding young man, an honor that I got to coach him. As the sun set, loved ones sharing their fondest memories. I was so proud of him because he's come such a long way from the little kid I met to such a brave young man. As you saw, tonight's vigil was very lighthearted as many shared countless stories of Gabe allowing both the community and the team to heal. Now, as for a permanent spot for his plaque, that's still pending as a family shares that they still have a long road ahead. For now, live in Kent, Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News.